Hi, I'm Miss Holmes. I teach GCSE uh, textiles. This is my classroom here. This is T6. If you haven't managed to actually come into T6 yet, then please try to because you will see everything that's on display here. You'll be able to see the current work that the Year 11 students are working on, lots of different things happening. Uh, it will give you a really good idea as to what GCSE Art Textiles is all about. I've put together this video that shows all of the displays for you so that hopefully um, you will understand what the course is. This is the inspiration board for the Revamp project, which is all about recycling, reusing, creating something from an existing product. Okay, so we don't necessarily have to do any actual dressmaking, okay, but it's all based on fashion. So you can see here we look particularly at the fall collection of 2016 of Victor and Rolf, who are Dutch. They named their collection the Vagabonds. You can see it's been inspired by Charles Dickens, Victorian England. Okay, so we learn to understand where designers have got their influences from. They used their existing collections that were just being archived, just sat away in cupboards in storerooms, and they reused all of those materials to create this whole new range of garments okay so we look at origami we look at fabric manipulation techniques um, all kinds of practical things that we do on the sewing machines and with all the dyes screen printing all kinds of different things so that you can come up with something that is original and creative uh, totally revamping your school shirt this is a really lovely example of a coursework portfolio. So your coursework is actually worth 60%. So you'll do two projects. This is one of the major projects that we do. So you can see you start with a mind map. You discuss what it is that you are going to do. So your sketchbook becomes a little bit of a story of, of what your design um, is, where your inspiration has come from. Do lots of experiments with lots of different techniques. Okay, lots of research into different artists. And again, you can choose the artist that you look at. Okay, and then it's just about presenting all of that information. So lots of experimenting, researching. This is part of the revamp project that I showed you, showed you the inspiration board for. So you can see lots and lots of work there, lots of research. Workshop that we do at... Uh, Blackpool 64. We'll go there every year. All right, we'll do lots of experimenting in their fantastic area. Lots of weaving. And again, we do weaving mainly because of the Victor and Rolf work, because uh, he they have a lot of weaving in that piece there. Then you can see another artist that this student has chosen to look at because it fits in with her theme. All right, so she was looking at pollution in the environment various bits and pieces in there okay so her piece is all about putting across that message of um, <clears throat> plastics polluting the oceans and the effect that they can have all right on the sea creatures as you can see she's actually done some work with tech 2d design there again so we can print from those 2d designs you can see she's getting into now some design ideas. So she's actually producing a trench coat. And she's got lots of these images and things on her trench coat. That's going to be her final design. This is the inspiration board for the Birds and Feather project that we've done. Okay, so we look at lots of different designers and artists. So you can see there's fashion designers in there. There's uh, Robert Greenhalf there who is actually a lino printer. So we look at some of his work. We can see there's Jill French there who makes sculptures, a little bit like the seagull that I made that's there. Okay, so you can see you do quite a lot of investigation into different people. Mr. Finch, who you've been introduced to in year eight, different cultures, and all of these can have a massive impact on what it is that you actually design. Okay, 
I don't tell you exactly who to research. You can find your own artists, okay? So once you've got to the coursework element, you can take it in any direction that you want. This board here shows a variety of work that's been completed. So some of it was for the Birds and Feathers uh, project. So it's quite obvious, isn't it, these bits here? So you can see they've actually done lots of free motion machine embroidery to produce little birds. They've done some screen printing. There's felt in there to create the wings and the nest. That's based on one of Alexander McQueen's pieces. You can see they've created masks. You can do pieces of artwork that go up on a wall. So this is paintwork and um, um, hand embroidery beading sequins. This person decided to do a head dress for a festival of feathers. Okay, this person decided to do interior design pieces, so they did reverse applique. We also joined the other art students on a trip to Liverpool Tate, where we look at the exhibitions that are there and we do a presentation of what our favourite pieces were. And you can see that you have a go at actually producing your own versions of that. Okay. Okay, so you can see they've done their own versions using textile techniques. So if you're interested in taking GCSE textiles, come and speak to me. Thank you.